Aloha, my name is Krista Ralaxmedetan and I am a holistic wellness and uh, business coach as well in an alchemist. Today I would like to talk about teeth and the holistic meaning of teeth as well how to um, actually uh, take better care of your teeth and how your teeth actually communicating with you in order to deliver messages uh, from the invisible or from even from the spiritual world. So recently I have had some uh, very major issues with my teeth. I got two teeth which uh, broke and I had to go in and uh, figure out that actually both of them needed to be also crowned. So which is kind of funny because it's like the masculine and feminine uh, both sides needed to be crowned again in a new way but uh, in many cultures and backgrounds teeth actually have uh, played a very important role and I wanted to give a little bit holistic uh, background to what they can mean and then also read a little uh, a chapter of um, one of the resources which I like to use for holistic uh, wellness and then also share a couple of things how uh, this has been relevant in my own life. So maybe also you get some inspiration to um, think about your teeth. So I'm originally from um, uh, from the Northern Europe area. So uh, when I grew up, uh, we didn't have the similar dental care uh, many people have had here in United States. So um, my uh, background in that is different and also experience in that is different. I remember that when we went to uh, visit dentists as a small child, it was always so painful, so nerve-wracking uh, experience that uh, I never wanted to uh, go until, you know, I became an adult. And then, you know, also technology, everything had changed and uh, it wasn't a painful experience anymore. But all in all, it can be all connected, you know. So in general, um, teeth are um, actually... Um, sign of strength and power and communication so if you wouldn't have teeth you would have actually difficulty to speak and many times when we start to have uh, problems with teeth it's also one way our spirit is actually uh, giving uh, feedback like hey how is your communication are you fully communicating what you need to communicate and how you need to communicate and if not then, you know, your teeth will try to become like messengers and give you the message like, hey, maybe it's time to uh, look at this uh, from a different, you know, point of view and uh, start to communicate differently. So many times um, people may suppress uh, things or suffer about things because they are not communicating or they can't communicate or they think they don't, uh, you know, it, it, it shouldn't be good. But in my case, um, I had a very relevant experience connected to that, that where communication was the key, where I was actually trying to communicate my message. And because I did, actually, um, it influenced the whole um, team of people and their lifestyle as well, quality of life quite a bit. So... Communication is a key not only for your own well-being, but also other people around you. So um, take it more seriously, maybe. Strength and fit with vitality is, you know, because you need your teeth to bite and chew and, you know, help. It's the first process of like uh, bringing in nourishment into your um, system in a way. And then also it is um, where you bite things into smaller chunks so that you can, you know, digest it better. And it is also the message of uh, how to handle life's challenges better. So can also um, represent personal power and also your resilience. So when these things are maybe out of balance, also, you know, your... Um, teeth uh, will become messengers, you know. Uh, it's also a symbol for transformation or renewal. 
So for example, when you lose your baby teeth and uh, new teeth are coming, uh, adult teeth, so it is the change and transformation. So when you are older and this happens, it's also kind of like your body is giving a sign as like, okay, time to shred this old stuff and you know, uh, bring in the new stuff. And um, it's also maybe letting go some of the old patterns. Uh, so it's really good to look into that as well. So it's connected to fear and anxiety. So um, for example, in dreams, when you see that you, uh, your you know, teeth are damaged, it symbolizes fears, insecurities, or anxiety about losing control or in power uh, situation. And it can also relate to concerns about appearance or how others perceive you. It's also connected to mortality and aging. Um, so they can, teeth can decay and can be lost with time. So it's reminding us of our mortality and passage of time and also the spiritual context of like, you know, moving through time. And then it's also healing and health. Healthy teeth might symbolize overall well-being and balance, care for oneself, and then also the balance and attention to physical, emotional health. So many times people maybe um, don't take it very seriously. I usually went to the dentist at least once a year, um, try to do my cleansing uh, for like every six months. But recently, because of the moves from different states uh, here in United States, plus figuring out my insurance, it took a little bit longer uh, in between. And that's uh, where these problems happen. So I would recommend each one of you also to uh, go and check your teeth if you haven't for a while. It's better to be preventative uh, than to go when you have a big crisis, like in my case, equaling like, you know, basically, literally, uh, a used car, you know, to fix it. So I have one really amazing uh, book, which I love to read for holistic um, influences. And this one I really recommend um, to check out, Your Body Speaks Your Mind, Deb Shapiro. And there is a whole uh, section about um, teeth. And I wanted to read this and then also comment about it because it's uh, very cool. So difficulties with teeth can be associated issues to do with dependence and asserting independence, especially from your mother. And this can equally apply to adults as it does to children. Teeth enable you to eat and take in nourishment. They are the first in line to receive love in the form of food. Rotten teeth may be an indication of the food love syndrome, when too many sweet foods have replaced love, adversely affecting your health. The teeth are like gates protecting the entrance uh, to your being. This is where you get the grip on things. It's connected to honoring your boundaries, where you determine what will be taken in or released. You may feel something has gotten to you, is undermining your defenses, leaving you unprotected with the loss of independence. At this first reception point, there is a festering and reluctance, a pain in receiving. It can mean to get more involved or let go and relax. Teeth also indicate whether the, re the reality you are chewing and assimilating is nourishing or damaging. Teeth also clarify communication. You can talk with, with you, can't, you can't talk without them, but the words will be, um, uh, and then the words will be very unclear. So in my case, um, what I was also sharing in my recent uh, uh, post was, you know, um, the connection with mother in my case is not relevant because my mom is dead for quite a while now. And uh, but I would um, kind of look deeper into the connection with my divine feminine, which is always in a process and I'm fine tuning that for for a while now. And then taking in that nourishment uh, to receive love in the form of food, that is a really deep topic. And I am a real total sweet uh, tooth. And I have worked with that. I kind of got rid of my 
uh, sugar addiction and um, have worked now over three years um, with different ways to, you know, eat healthy and so on. But um, it can be totally also uh, this food love syndrome, uh, which I should also probably look uh, deeper into is any time I'm trying to, you know, substitute love with food. Uh, and if that's the case, what kind of food, you know? And that's a good question for you as well. So if you do that, so uh, what else is possible, you know? And honoring boundaries, that has been like the topic for the last uh, a year and a half. Um, and I learned a very, very big lesson and I didn't give up. I was like setting my boundaries. I was pushed more into this um, assertive energy kind of way of being, which um, I didn't really, you know, uh, like it to be. And um, it was necessary to change the situation. And also um, as an entrepreneur, I was put into a situation where I didn't have control and losing control here is also sometimes connected to the teeth uh, as well. So, um, and then also uh, pain in receiving. Receiving hasn't been really a thing I'm really good at yet. So I'm still learning that. And um, also the let go and relax. I got like a major let go um, uh, lesson here during the last three or four months. Oh my God, like um, that's been like crazy, you know. And um, yeah, it's a good question for each one of you, uh, whether the reality you are chewing and assimilating is nourishing or damaging. So uh, how is it for you? So I hope this was um, inspiring. If you have any other suggestions, comments, highlights from this time, let me know. Um, and then uh, please subscribe as always. And I will always load weekly videos on this channel about uh, different holistic wellness topics or in their alchemy topics. So stay tuned and please share with many. Much aloha till the next time. Bye.